Okay. Welcome back, everyone, to Curse of the Vistani, episode 55. When last we left off, the party made quick work of three hags that had tried to steal their cart. Uh, they also managed to cross a raging river and found an old man asleep in the rain who appeared to be in bad shape. Can, uh, I, you guys... can I add something? Sure. Managed to cross a raging river and almost lost the ring of water walking. <laughs> yep. Yep. You, you nearly dropped the ring. Is he flying man? over a raging river in a storm. In a raging storm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. But you guys did manage to heal his fever and brought him into the cart with you uh, to bring him back to the city uh, and try and help him. Whether he uh, liked it or not. Right. Um, in between episodes, we have also leveled up the party to nine, so... Yes. Yippee. So, we will pick up from there, um, with the old man waking up and saying, What a shame. Seems I got lost in the rain. Hi, sir. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> just looks at him kind of confused. He just kind of stares at you. And uh, starts to sit up a bit. Ugh. How are you feeling, sir? Uh, I... Can I poke him with a stick? <laughs> I think you already were. <laughs> Pretty sure you were. Continue poking him with a stick. Reminder, Saflin did, uh, I did mention last week that Saflin would have disguised herself to not look like a tiefling the second mm -hmm. it seemed like this guy was coming to consciousness. Just in yep. case. Uh, so he, he responds, uh, Well, I no longer feel sick. Can you please stop poking me with a stick? Just trying to make sure you're actually alive. Aye. <laughs> I'm fairly certain he is, son. I think we're good. Okay, I'll turn around and poke Callum with the stick. Ah, what? Why me? Because stick. Stick on stick action. Oh, God. Ah! I have nowhere to run! So, sir, where, where were you headed? Ugh. My heading was Donnelly. Oh, well, that's good. That's where we're going. Yeah, we found you on the side of the road. You really didn't look well. You were kind of passed out. I should have arrived long ago, but I fear I got lost. Yeah, this rain's been kind of crazy. Very wet. I don't like it. Neither do I. It came at quite the cost. Quite the cost? Yes. As you found me. I guess we're lucky we did. I'm, I'm Lilia. I, I'm the one who healed you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You have my thanks. Sorry, I missed what you said because chat was reading out things. What? I, he said, nice to meet you. You have my thanks. Very welcome. So you're headed to Donnelly. That's where we're headed. This is the rest of my party. Um, yeah. Looks at everybody. Yeah, but, um, yeah. <laughs> I'll wave with my tail. Keeping to herself, and she was trying to get a read on him, but I rolled really poorly. Uh, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't get a very good read on him at the moment. Yep. Question, does normal me sound high pitch? You sound a little higher than normal. But I think you sound that up. could just be me. It's fine. No, she sounds higher than normal. She's slightly higher pitched than normal. 
Um, I didn't change I anything. I did not notice anything of the sort. It's okay. Sometimes when you're not feeling well, you get a little nasally. I and am. It, it kind of feels oh, yeah, like that, that's what's that going on. That's all she, it is. She is fattening off a sinus infection. Yeah, so I think it's just that it. you're a little nasally because of congestion. It's fine. Okay. Sorry to point it out. I was just asking. Sorry about that. Okay. It was just making sure it wasn't that badly weird. No, you're fine. No, I didn't even notice. Oh, okay, so the Lilia might be normal. because I'm sick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Saplin was kind of trying to get a read because she was hung up on him describing his uh, delay as costly. She's kind of confused by that. <laughs> yes, Lilia is was too. And then he's like, "You found me." I'm like, "Yeah, okay, I'll just let I'll, I'll let that slide." <laughs> yeah, I tried to insight because of that, but I rolled really poorly. Uh, Saplin's gonna go ahead and speak up if there's a lull. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of left off the conversation to get you guys to maybe introduce yourselves, see if you could get any more information out of them. I'm I'll not wait. gonna give my name. Um, I'm wearing the same disguise that I was wearing when we left Donnelly last. That's how I've disguised myself. Okay. So basically, looking like a a uh, half elf mm -hmm. with the same hair color as I normally have, the pink. Do do we have any food or drink we can offer him? We do. Um, uh, I he, was. He actually does pipe up and uh, says, "Might I trouble you for some food? Yeah, I'm Give fine you with a that. drink." Saflin will pull. Maybe I think. Pull like a bread roll or something that we have some of the produce, something like a snacking veggie or something that we would have gotten from the druids, maybe. Okay. Um, something that won't be too heavy on him. him. Right, something that'll be light and still kind of nutritious. That won't make him puke up like crazy because he hasn't had food right. in I don't know how many days. Yeah, it's like, uh, here, he... have a celery stick. <laughs> <laughs> he, he graciously accepts the food and uh, starts eating it and drinking the water. And I will ask uh, what his business is in Donnelly. Uh, visiting family. Okay. How please. long have you been away? <laughs> he, he doesn't give us okay. info. How long have you been away? Oh, I, I live off on my own. Uh, just a few days away. But during the storm, I guess I got off track. Saplin was kind of poking for how long it's been since he was last in town. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. and we'll the kind of try to skills tend to lack. Yeah. Uh, Specifically, Saplin is trying to get a read on. Mm -hmm. If he was in town when the chaos went down when we were last around, gotcha. or if he had been gone longer than that. Did he introduce himself yet? No, nope. he, we haven't gotten a name. You have not asked him his name at all. Yeah, okay. So that would be what I, I would ask. Prompt, only one of you have introduced yourselves. By I your tried name. to prompt by giving my name, saying nice to meet you, and he didn't give his name, so... That's fair. Yeah. Hi, I'm Curio. This is my tale. My tail says hello, and again, I'll wave my tail. And who might you be? He, and he I'm going to get up really close to it, Like a handshake. Uh, I will I am Timmy. Timmy. Pleasant to meet you. Sorry, what's his name? Remy Temmy. Okay, I was hearing, like, clicking or something in your background. It kind of drowned Sorry. you out. I, I bumped my desk. Apologies. <laughs> well, Remy Timmy. It sounds like rub my tummy. Curio's going to say yes. Curio says that. <laughs> oh, he he just gives a chuckle. <laughs> I like you. Thank you. I like you too. <laughs> and continues to eat the food. Um. 
Yes, as I was saying, uh, it's been at least a month or so since I was last there. <clears throat> DM? Uh, yes? What, what is time? How long has it been since we've been in Donnelly? Uh, a couple weeks? It would have been two and a half, three weeks. Okay. How long have we been traveling from the Druids camp? Couple days. Um, How long has the storm been going on? I guess it's... it it takes a little over a week between the two places. Okay. Okay. Not terrible. Yeah, and of course we've had a storm to deal with, so it might have taken us a little bit longer. Right, slower yeah. travel into the storm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, um. Okay. So storm's not been going on too long, but he's definitely been traveling by foot which would be a lot longer than traveling by horse mm -hmm. and cart or anything. I would think so. Saplin has something she wants to learn from him, but doesn't have a good way to ask it, so she's not going to right now. Oh. So what, what was that last insight roll for, Lilia? Just listening in to try and see if I can see if he's telling the truth with what he's saying. Um, the 13, he seems pretty truthful. And all Curio is thinking is he paid my tail, he's trustworthy. Flags at the moment. Saf's number one concern is does this guy hate tieflings? <laughs> but she is not going to give any indication that she is a tiefling or point to mm -hmm. it directly. That yep, is, and that we is her motivation. And we wouldn't bring right it up now. because Saf didn't say anything. Yep. Yep. So I was trying to get hints but to, to figure out, okay, would he have been in town when the tiefling drama was happening? I'm sure the drama had been happening for a while, yeah. For a while. And he Where did, did say he was going to sense? Donnelly and not from Donnelly, right? Yes, he right. said he was going to. And, and he said it's been about a month since he'd last been to Donnelly. And we found him on the road coming from the south and not the main road coming from these because we've not made it to that road yet. Right. So I wonder where he was coming from. Well, he said he lived a little ways outside of town, so presumably oh, okay. his home? I would assume so. Um... So while we're getting him dried off and everything else, uh, maybe have Aurora start the cart moving so we can get back yeah. on travel. I, I, while figure we're we're walk I figure we're talking yeah. While, while riding. He's in the cart, we're I just want to make sure and say it so Meteor knew. Yeah, I, I, right. I was assuming you guys were moving. We put him in the cart. You guys had to be moving. Yeah. Yeah. Had yeah. Be moving while he was unconscious. So, out of character, do either one of you spellcasters have pressed to digitation? Oh, oh. No. We have the uh, stone. Yeah, I was about to say, I would like to pull the stone out of the big bag yep, and offer it to him so he can touch it. Yeah. Oh. We'll hand over the cleansing stone. Yeah. Hmm. What is this? If you rub your hands on it, you will get all clean, and your clothes will dry. And it's like taking a bath without taking a bath. Uh. He smiles and just starts rubbing his hands on it, and uh, his outfit, which was like covered in mud. Uh, just instantly becomes clean. You just watch the the mud and dirt disappear from his clothing. Uh, How does his clothing look when it's clean? Is it nice and bright or commoner type or what? Uh, it's more commoner type. Okay. Um, nothing too fancy. That stone is very valuable to me. It's like one of the best mundane items you can buy. Yeah. I can see why. Thank you for allowing me to try. Quite welcome. Now put it back, back in the you. bag. So is there a special reason why you're going on this trip? To see family? To see family. To yeah. see family. It's not particularly. Just been a while. Thought I'd pop in and say hello. Yeah, so generalized ketchup. Yeah, it's... Sounds like When fun. was the last time that you were in Donnelly? He said about, about a month, month ago. ago. Month ago. 
Okay. Uh, Pika and I are on the same wavelength. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Saflin will just kind of make a kind of a casual sounding comment mm -hmm. and be like, yeah, it's been it's been a few weeks since we've been in town, too. It'll be nice to catch up with the uh, Mayor Whitehorse again. Uh, yeah, there was some crazy stuff going on when we left. Not giving details, just I want to clock if there's a reaction to the name. Um, roll, roll perception for me. Okay. Fire is in detective mode. I am. Ghost I are not go. the best. You, you don't notice any specific reaction to okay. bringing up the mayor's name. Uh, he he's just kind of nods and uh, he he doesn't like look impressed or anything or uh, just not much of a reaction to the name. Okay. You can rest if you need to. We'll it's be all... there here in a little while. Yes, it's always nice to see friends. Oh, and he just kind of leans his head back and just closes his eyes a bit. I keep waiting on him to yell distraction for some reason. <laughs> wrong person. Yep. Very I don't know if person. he got really good at disguising himself. Distraction! <laughs> distraction? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> uh, How long should it be till we're on. there? Uh, it's going to be a few more days. Days? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like two or three days until you get there. So just keep an eye on him, make sure he's okay. He's all clean and speedy now. Back to the map. Did anyone else want to rub the rock? Mm, not right now. <coughs> so it won't really look any different. Though she'll probably wait. Wait, I have a question. If you're holding the rock and you stick your head outside where it's still raining, are you gonna get wet or are you just gonna stay dry? You're still gonna get wet. You, you have to wet. do an action to clean it up. Yeah. So... Can I test that with Callum? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? What was the question? She's wanting to torture Callum with waterboarding. <laughs> I was um, going to stick okay. Callan's head out the window and let him hold the rock and see if uh, he would actually get wet. He would have to Saflin rub his hands with the rock. will ask Callan if he'd like to come oh. sit up front for a while. <laughs> oh. no. I, I will remind that the rock works on clothing. Yeah, yeah. it's not everything else. Your yeah. hair and okay. face would still be wet. <laughs> okay. I thought it worked on everything. Doesn't matter. No, it's... Uh, it's yeah, removing it was, grime and dirt yeah. from your person. Yeah. So, it's like taking a bath and cleaning your clothes. So as a reminder, you guys are at this black circle on the map. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it would probably take like two and a half more days to get back to Donnelly. Which means roughly two days to get to the hideout. Up to you if I'm allowed to do this, but if we're just traveling... Can uh, I burn my mantle of inspiration where the horses can see me to give the horses a little bit of a boost? Um, yeah. <laughs> That's the one that lets them move up to their full speed as a reaction. Now, here's my question. If he's with us for two plus days, how are you keeping your disguise self up that long? I was asking Pika previously if I could borrow the hat of disguise. Yep, I gave him my hat. Okay. I wasn't sure I was going to need it. Now you do. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yeah, for the hat of disguise, there is no time limit. So just better make sure it doesn't fall off her head. Yep. So I was gonna use my my initial disguise self, and then once I realized, oh, I'm gonna need a little bit more, I would uh, put the hat on and attune to it. Okay. Uh, so his, his eyes are closed right now, so yep, uh, that would be easy enough to do. Um, so yeah, he, he ends up falling back asleep. You hear some snoring. Uh, He's still feeling, looking better? 
Uh, yeah, he he's definitely looking better than when you found him. Okay. Stafflin is resisting the temptation to let the disguise lapse just long enough to make him think he's hallucinating and then bring it back. <laughs> See That's how he reacts to it? Blood peeking out, ain't it? See how he reacts to it? To be fair, <laughs> uh, let me check the uh, the cost for the spell. Is there a component cost? For what? For disguise self? I don't think so. Verbal and I, somatic. I, I've learned to modify memory. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. That one, I believe there is? No, Positive. just verbal no. somatic. Oh. oh. Well, there you go. <laughs> well, then. So, yeah, so she could technically show off her full self. And then just modify his memory after. I well, could. I don't think it's worth it. You also have to uh, consider that he has to, uh, he can defend against it. Yeah, he does get a save. It's it's against a, a 17. Mm. My spell DC is reasonably high, but yes. Okay. It's feasibly safe against it. Why don't you just test it on one of us? Because it wouldn't matter for us. We know she's no. a tiefling. No, I meant just Thank you, the Severed. thing in general. Thing, just, just what, Pika? Just to try the spell out in general. Oh, she knows how the spell works. Oh, I know how it works. She was want she. I think what it was was she was wanting to see what his reaction is to tieflings, and then if it was bad, to be able to undo Basically it. Basically, hit so a rewind know. button. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay. It is a very high level spell, however. So. Yep, fifth level. It's actually not bad. Mm -hmm. hmm. All right, I'd oh. like someone to roll a d20 for me, please. Ooh, I'll do it. Okay. There. 11. Uh, Pika okay. showed up first, so go ahead and take hers. It's a 10. Okay. All right, she so beat me to it. Uh, you guys continue to travel. Um, the the rain is slowing down a little, uh, which is nice. Um, it's slowed down to the point where uh, you guys will no longer have a disadvantage on ranged attacks. Yay! Yay! Um, but there is still going to be the disadvantage when being shoved. Because still wet ground. Slippery. It's yeah. still slippery. Yes. The oil from all the cars that travel, you know. Um, but yeah, you guys make it through the rest of the day um, with nothing of note, nothing more of note happening. Okay. Uh, the Remy uh, just kind of slips in and out of naps every so often. I guess at end of day, we would find a place to pull off and set up a very wet camp again. Okay. Now, here's a question. Fun. Hold on. When, since he is between naps, Saplin will actually, for fun, at one point... Mm -hmm. Minor illusion tiefling features onto someone else in the cart. Okay. Not herself. And see if he notices. And just, like, real quick. His minor illusion is only for, like, a minute. <laughs> okay. Um. So. You, you do that and, um. You can't... It, it's hard to tell if he notices or not. If he did, he did not react at all. And just for fun, um, she'll kind of alternate it. So she'll give people, like, different features from different races just as kind of cover. Okay. So, like, at one point, Curio has his big fluffy tail, 
and it becomes different colors. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so like he has a fox tail at one point. Sappy's <laughs> giving this guy bad trip. What was in that bread? Saplin <laughs> uh, is a uh, bored bard <laughs> practicing her craft. And her okay. tiefling blood so, is peeking out. So doesn't have any reaction to the the tiefling bit. Uh, the multicolored tail uh, he doesn't seem to notice. Uh, the fox tail he does notice. Okay. Um. He goes. Was your tail always like that? I'm assuming by the time I look down at it, it's no longer going to be like that. It's only for a minute, yeah. Yeah. And, and I mean, you can choose to try to see through it if you have reason to think that it's not real. Are Are you leaving it just long enough for him to notice and then dropping it, or are you leaving it while he's looking at it? When he comments, I'll leave it. Okay. Uh, I'll look if he down doesn't it. react, I'll let it fade, but if he reacts, I'll leave it. <laughs> uh, well, at this point, Curio will look down at his tail mm-hmm. and see a fox tail and then go all panic mode and start <laughs> shaking it Wondering what happened to his tail. What did you do to my tail? I'll look at the man. I'll look back at my tail. And that one will will visibly move her hand in front in in Curio's view, snap her fingers, and end the spell at the same time. Okay. Uh, Sorry, I was bored. I'll look at Safi cross-eyed and hug my tail all close and say, Okay. Uh, I see you like to play games. My tail is not a game. Oh. But it's okay. It was a bit of harmless uh, cosmetics. I wanted you to be able to see what it would look like if it was fluffy like a foxtail. Can't tell much better. Cat tail is much better. I agree. Thank you. <laughs> I'll reach over and get Safi's head a pat. <laughs> and no, play push I'm up on my tail too. Myself, young lady. He's a fan oh, of did games. Say? I am. Uh, what kind of games? Tell you what. How would if you he... like to play a game of high stakes riddle? If he pulls out a deck of many things, I'm I'm peacing out. <laughs> he he just kind of like starts rubbing his hands together and has like a grin on his face now. High stakes in what way? Uh, riddles with stakes so high will leave you scratching your head and sigh. You'll have to rack and bra- your brain and try to solve the puzzle before time flies by. The stakes are high, that much is clear, for if you lose, I'll take what's dear. But if you win, I'll offer a prize to reward the cleverness in your eyes. I hate riddles. So listen, I'm poking him with a stick. Each clue a step, a path to pursue. Uh, Going to start playing rhythmically. Saffron is going to start playing along with his speaking. Okay. With the intent of triggering a counter charm. Just in case. Just in case. But doing it in such a way that it feels like I'm trying to set the mood behind his phrasing. Okay. Um, Deceptively. Roll me an arcana check. Okay. Uh, Arcana is not my strong suit. You you don't notice any spell being cast. Well, no, but (coughs) Saplin is on edge. How serious does his I'll take what dear do you sound? That was Curio's insight there. Um, <clears throat> so it, that is what he is referring to by high stakes. Uh, uh-huh. So um, it, he said, I'll, I'll read it again once more. The stakes are high. That much is clear for if you lose, I'll take what's dear. But if you win, I'll offer a prize to reward the cleverness in your eyes. So uh, if you guys get the riddle, then... He will give Instead something of, to you. If we don't, he takes us for all we're worth. Um, 
Yeah, if you lose, he will take something from you. Can we put him back outside the car and just leave him? I don't want to. Tempting, very tempting. Honestly, I'd rather not. So that's that. If you'd like, we can start off easy. I have already lost too much that was dear to me, so I'm out. Sorry. Yeah, I'm not playing. It would just be uh, to clarify. Uh, it would be an item yeah, of didn't work. equal value. Well, anyways, Mario, curious. I rolled an eighteen, so. Yeah, uh, Saflin will say as. Uh... We, we've had a few brushes with unkind curses, so excuse our, uh, skittishness, I suppose. I understand your reluctance. Kira will perk up and say, ask me I it. may offer my assurances. Uh, I do not intend to curse you in any manner. Uh, riddles are my bread and butter. Well, it bread sounded like, uh, Kira was interested. Mm-hmm. So is this an individualized agreement, or do you seek the agreement of the entire group? Uh, I can just do with you if you would like. And we can I get help? help? You may. Anyone okay. who would like to join in. I love how he says help and Nihon shows up. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nihon. it sounds like if you participate... Then you become part of the. You become the part agreement. of the prize or uh, stake. Okay. So, including if you help someone, you are then part of the stake. Uh, yeah, Kira is definitely interested. He is all perky okay. and doing the little seat wiggle, and his tail is doing the cat swish. Then let us very start. leery. As is Saplin. Saplin is watching like a hawk to make sure there's nothing weird going on, even though Arcana is not her strong point. Um, and you you both did roll insight. I assume that was to like see if there's anything kinky going on, right? That was when he was saying he'll take what you most want, dear. Yeah. Can I? And we were uh, like, hold up. Okay. With- Can I pull out a not in front of anyone? Just have a dagger ready, just in case. <laughs> I'll try yeah, you you can like be like touching the dagger at your side. Uh, mm-hmm. With those insights, uh, when he said that, there did not seem to be any malice. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we were both like. <laughs> I'm, I imagine San is over doing the thing with her dagger, where she's like cleaning out her nails all of a sudden. <laughs> cleaning out her nails, flipping it a couple times. Yeah, yeah. Doing little spinny oh. thing. Testing the balance. Yeah, so w- with those insights, you did not get any feeling of... Okay. Uh, meanness. Okay. Meanness, yeah. yeah. Kiro is... Like he was excited about uh-huh. the thought of playing a game with you. And doing... Kiro's excited too. He heard game, and is like, meow, and perked up. All right, so <laughs> he, he sits up, uh, crosses his legs in front of you, uh-huh. And puts his hands together, and starts rubbing them a little. All right. I'm ancient and revered, but I'm not a relic. I tell tales of old, but I'm not a bard's lyric. I'm a medium of knowledge, but I'm not a bookshelf. I'm unrolled and unfurled to reveal, se- to reveal secrets of wealth. What am I? You may have guesses three. Is it a treasure map? It is not. Huh. Left. Meteor, for the sake of the, the chat and those of us who are not playing but still want to try to puzzle it on our own, can we get that in writing? Yeah, could you yeah, type first. it for us, please? <laughs> yeah, because I was literally about to say, what was it again? <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Tell the hope, but I'm not a bird's lyric. Medium of knowledge, but I'm not a bookshelf. I have a guess, but I am not playing. Unrolled and unfurled to reveal secrets of wealth. 
uh, uh, I'm trying to think as Curio. Are you playing, Pika? No, I'm just over the top. Okay, so don't read that far now. (laughs) My next one was going to be a budget sheet because of secrets of wealth. Uh, I guess it's the same as Pika. That again? That's what came to my mind, too. Like a budget sheet, you know, where you would track money in, money out. It is. I not mean, you can't tell me that's that's a bad guess. It is not a budget sheet. You have one guess remaining. Uh, da da I don't know. I have one guess. Let's see. Let's see. Ancient and revered, but I'm not a relic, so it wouldn't be a stone tablet. Tell tales of old, but you're not a bard's lyric, so it's the possibility that you're actually the bard, but you don't enroll in inferral to reveal secrets of wealth. And it wasn't a treasure map. Uh, I will look at Son and say, what do you think reveals secrets of wealth? Anyone who I'm wants... not saying a word. I don't want to get involved. Chime in, May. Our guesses count as our own or as part of his three. Uh, it would be part of the three. Or yeah, two. I will. De- I will defer a guess to the first person that answers and and count it as my guess. So don't count them as taking part. No, he just said if we guess, it counts as three. It's part of it's part of Curios yeah, my third three. Guess, however, the third guess of this riddle. Yeah. If we get involved at all, we're part of the stakes. That was stated before. But does that mean we each get our own three guesses? Medium of knowledge, not a bookshelf. No, it is three guesses for everyone. Anyone who pipes in and does a guess counts towards the three. Yeah, Reveals it becomes a group game wealth. at that point. But we still only have three guesses. I mean, I would almost say a spell scroll of, like, detect something or another. Right. I think you're... But the ancient and revered doesn't you're go st- with that. You're still going as Curio right now? Yeah. Okay. I, I, again, I'm trying to do all the references together and back and forth. Saflin will pull out her, her little diplomat chest. And is not going to say a word, but will pull out the uh, scroll case that is part of that. Okay. That is scroll case is an unrolled or unfurled. And pull the piece of paper that's rolled up, because it doesn't come with an actual scroll. Did I paper. did I go too specific when I said a budget sheet? Should I've just said a sheet of paper? Is that literally what's going on here? Is that your guess? No. <laughs> yeah, that would probably be what my guess is after seeing all these hints off to the side and everything else. It's like a paper or a scroll. Uh, okay, so you say a paper or a scroll? Uh-huh. That's your guess? <laughs> Congratulations. It is, in fact, a scroll. So, okay, I did get it. Yeah, good job, yeah. you all. Yeah, we were all right. I just wasn't I, I sure if he hint. was going to call me on that hint. But you know what the funny but... thing is? Mm-hmm. You know the really funny thing is? I didn't actually guess it. Bubbles did. Hey. Oh! Hello. Good job, Bubbles. B- Bubbles My, I immediately me. went to scroll and I'm like, nope, now chat. <laughs> That's what it so I mean. I really too. went way too specific with yep. mine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we're going too specific. <laughs> um, so he. He opens his hands up and then claps them together. Uh, a little bit of red, like, magic aura, uh, like, kind of explodes from his hand. Not, like, explodes, but, like, is released from his hands. And then uh, he opens them back up, and there is two scrolls sitting in his hand. And he hands them to you, Curio. Okay. Whoa. Thank you. I'll look at them. These are paired scrolls. Anything you write in one will appear in the other. Ooh. Oh, 
so I can write secret messages. Indeed. Okay. Can they they carry over over the scroll case? Do they can store the scroll in it? It does. Ooh. So, Curio, you can add paired scrolls to what? your objector sheet. And the scroll case. Well, I already have the scroll case, so we're just using the same one, I'd imagine. Um, I bet y'all didn't know quantum mechanics existed in D&D. <laughs> <laughs> now, wasn't that fun? Paired it was. Case. Thank you. My pleasure. See, this is the I one where Kira would probably write one. This is this was fun, and then check the other one and show it to the man. It, it, what, when he says thank you for playing, he gives a little bow at the same time. Clap, 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 clap. So yeah, it, if you do write that in it, it does. Uh, like as you're writing it, it's showing up in the other one. <laughs> does it eventually oh. disappear? Um, let me. Yeah. Roll appears in the other. A race is clear at dawn. Ah, so okay. easy. Thank you. This is a custom magic item, so. Inventory. This is the one that I found in the uh, add inventory. A pair of scrolls. Whatever is written on one appears on the other. A race is clear at dawn. Okay. Add the backpack. They has been edited. Whoop. It does also have a charge associated with it, but I don't know if that was intentional. That's to say uh, that you've used it for the day is what it is. Okay. So yeah, you know there, that there's, there's something... Charges. Right, it's so that you know that there's something to be erased at dawn, I guess. Right. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. okay. And I'll interact with chat now that he's stepped away. Yes, that was my concern, Nita user. I, I'm going to laugh if this is a fay. That was Saplin's worry. <laughs> <laughs> that was also Lily's worry out of the game. I was like, oh no. Yeah, no, I was doing all the guessing and stuff as Curio based on exactly what was said. So I yeah, was not it's, taking it's hard to distinguish when you're talking said. above board and when you're back. not, which is why I had to ask. Sorry, I just I, forgot my water. I try to change my voice when I'm talking as Lilia, so. I could try that, but then my voice would really crack and go all weird. I mean, the only other voice I have that I can do easy kind of sounds like this, and I'm pretty sure y'all wouldn't want to do this all the time. Well, I mean, <laughs> we could also just always assume that you're in character unless you say out of character or something first. That's mostly what I go with, unless I say Fair. out of character or to the to the players, stuff like that. Okay. Or when we are actively <sighs> talking amongst the players. <laughs> we didn't have enough time to decide that buff. Sorry. Quick, he's gone. Who's the new DM? <laughs> the chair. It's me. Oh yeah, the chair probably. No, Abby. Abby's, Abby's, Abby's our DM. DM. Hello. Yeah, we already went over that before. Abby is definitely the DM. Meteor's yeah. just the assistant. Yes. Meteor is the uh the puppet. Yes. The human interfacing puppet. So everybody who guessed scroll did awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, the old man now has just a, a big grin uh, on his face while he's uh, sitting with you guys. Yep, well, I've happily tucked the scrolls into my backpack. Honestly, and that kind of hurt he... my brain. But that's half the fun. What's the other half? Figuring them out, getting it right. There's nothing more fun than figuring out a good puzzle. Thinking about the clues, putting them together in a way that uh, satisfies only one answer. Only reminded of the assassin's hideout and the various puzzles we had to do to get through it. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> There's nothing better. At least not in my opinion. All right, so... Uh, I, I so wanted to ask one. What's that? I'll be good. 
You want to ask a riddle? Well, a riddle yeah. in return? Uh-huh. What will you give him if he gets it right? Food. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. It's it's something we have. Yeah. Also, I will be right back. Nene has the bathroom. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So, yeah. Curio will bounce and bounce and go, oh, oh, I have one for you. I don't know what I can give you that'll be so great for it, but I have a riddle for you. His eyes light up and he goes, please, do tell. Well, see, one time in a book, I read that in a week, there's four days that start with T. Do you know what they all are? Hmm. See. <laughs> I got it. Let's see, you could go with the obvious with Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Saturday doesn't That's start only... with T. Oh, you said starts with T? Yeah. Buff. Gotcha. I I thought you meant I thought you said have T in it. Okay. The answer nope, isn't which start with T. <laughs> Um. Yeah, Tuesday and Thursday. That's two of them. Another, none of the others. So then, I would go with today and tomorrow as well. Good job! I'll clap, 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 clap. So how would you we'll like dinner out. tomorrow morning? Saffle will fish out the one remaining pixie stick that I've been hanging on to this entire campaign. <laughs> uh, but but I did not cheat. That I actually did come up with the answer there. Yeah, he didn't cheat. Good job. I told him it was in the chat so he wouldn't look. Yep. Um, to be fair, I did see it right before you said that, but I already had the answer in my head. Yeah. Good so job. I, I will hand the pixie stick. Ooh. Ooh. It's a magic reward. It is, is a magic it? reward. Oh. It's uh, candy with some magical properties. He I, I would. Yep. We're in a covered area. It's fine. Oh. Want me to roll the d4 since it was a reward from my end? Sure, you can roll the d4. <laughs> I just need to remember. He, does he go to sleep or does he fly? Yeah. Yep. So on a one or two, it'll be asleep. On a three or four, it'll be fly. Fly. Three. Uh, and so that's he flies for a minute, for a right? minute. I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, or do you roll another? You roll another d4, and that determines how long. For a number of minutes, correct? Yeah. Okay. So for one, one minute. minute. Yay! So flying for one minute. So he, so he, the he starts to lifting off the ground. He's like, oh, oh. I reach out and hold on to his clothes leg just in case. Yeah, as he starts floating back. Yeah, just hang on to his boot. It's oh. fine. Oh. oh, this is exhilarating. Good reward. Thank you, Savvy. That is a marvelous reward. Yeah, where did we get them again? From the traveling. Traveling oh, from the same way person early as on the cupcakes, before right? the rat estate. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so I will remove that from my inventory. It, it's been there for the entire time. We've had that one remaining. Awesome use, awesome <laughs> use. Oh, we must do that again sometime. Uh, he says after a minute has passed. I'll have to think of all the books that I've read. Oh, I shall come up with uh, just as good of one for tomorrow. That's a riddle that I heard like sometime last week that I thought was nifty. Oh, okay. Um, so now we are at the point of evening and uh, making camp. So pull over, make camp. Is Nihon actually here? Here? Yeah, I'm here. Hi, Nihon. Hi, Nihon. I've been I've just been sitting here listening. Well, I've also been uh, <laughs> So while you're sitting and listening, uh, you should do your level up. That's actually what I'm trying to figure out right now. Okay. And don't forget to put in your choice for eighth level. Yeah. Anything yep. 
So we're on ninth level, right? We're on level nine yep. right now. Yeah. Yep. Ninth level, which for you, you access to third level spells. Mm -hmm. So you just have to choose what your spells. normal prepared spell is. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then go back and do your eighth level selection of whether you want to defeat your two stat points. I thought you had picked yep. stat points. Uh, I did not. Yeah, so apparently you did not get your stat boost for the entire last level, which is a shame. Uh, yeah, it's all right. All right. Uh, someone roll me survival for finding a good place to bed down. Everybody out front watching. Yeah, I'm inside the card. I don't think I'll be telling where How the is place my survival. Is. Oh, yeah. Heck, I will be on the lookout. <laughs> I forgot I'm survival kitty. 26. You find, like, the perfect spot. It's uh, perfect. There, there's even, like, a nice bed of hay. It's a bit damp, but... Um, or not hay, but grass, like fluffy patch of grass that would be great to lay on and roll around in. All the uh, the riddles in chat right now. Yeah. I, I dropped, dropped my own in there. He who has me does not want me, but he who lacks me needs me. I've heard that one before, but I don't remember the answer to it. Uh, should correct. be nothing. Yeah. The answer is nothing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> First, but one eye, and from haystacks, I will spy a needle. I've heard so many. <laughs> the problem is it's hard to pick one that other people also haven't heard. Mm -hmm. uh, all my riddles should be ones that no one's heard before. The scroll one was nifty. I don't know how other people figured it out so quick. It's a it's a medium of knowledge, and you furl and unfurl it. That seemed pretty and clear to me. Ancient and revered. Yeah. Like I said, I just went way too specific. <laughs> it's totally something Curio would do too. So it uh -huh. made double yeah. sense. It's yeah, you were saying scroll of detect magic, and I'm thinking too specific. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it back a little. That's why I was asking if you were answering as Curio or as Firedale, because Scroll of Detect Magic, I don't know that Curio would think of immediately. Because I don't know that he would accept, know uh, too much about different scrolls with magic on them in particular. But everybody, I've already seen, or Curio has seen a wand of Detect Magic and knows of magic scrolls. So that's why that was there, is because Detect Magic would reveal treasure. And it was something you unfurl, which was a scroll. So I literally just put the two words together. The yeah, apologies for the pause there. My cat has my familiar has decided to visit me. I wonder if anyone can get the one that I just posted. There's too many moving in chat too fast. <laughs> unfortunately. Man goes very, out for a walk during a storm with reasons. nothing to protect him. He doesn't have a hat, a hood, or an umbrella. But by the end of a walk, there isn't a single wet hair on his head. Why doesn't the man have wet hair? Because the he's man's bald. bald. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I did cause this, Kinka. And I shall cause more. <laughs> Sometimes it's the easiest solution. This is this guy's whole shtick. It's riddles. <laughs> So go for it. <laughs> In for the day, so we that. found our spot. Uh, nobody heard that? Yeah, nobody yep. heard that. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, is there anything you guys are wanting to do before getting your long rest? Eat? Uh, yeah, make a meal. Which is worse, pun spam or riddle spam? <laughs> Not my best to... roll. Y'all have to remember this next time we're in pack chat. Yeah. 
<laughs> do I add anything because of the uh, spice pouch, or do I just? Is um, it always just a spare? I never advantage. remember. I'll let you do advantage with the spice pouch. I always thought it was with advantage. It didn't help. Okay, <laughs> my rolls are just bad today. Uh, you you make an okay meal. It's not the best you've ever not made. Not the best I've ever made. That, but yeah. it's not bad. Not bad by any means. It's almost. Well, it's still better than average. Twelve is still better, better than, than average. average. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So it's not a bad meal. Just not like, oh my gosh, this is so good. Must have more type of meal. No, it's it's a passable meal. You'd have a three star three stars at a you know out of five, <laughs> which isn't bad when you think about it. Yeah, uh, Remy, you you can use my tent if you'd like. Uh, thank you. I I think I'll do that. I appreciate it. And to think, y'all were y'all were thinking that me making the guy think he was hallucinating was going to be a bad thing. <laughs> it, it caused a riddle off. Yeah. It sure made for a good segue to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys eat your food. Uh, bed down for the night. I assume you're casting Lehman's Tiny Hut? Yes. Okay. Uh, and I believe that is nine people in it with Remy. So that is the max. I double checked that. Um, Were to stay out of it, I would ask that it was one of the people who was used to standing guard, mm -hmm. if it was necessary. But yes, the max is nine creatures of medium size or smaller. And with you six, the uh, more on Luna and him, that is nine. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, we so are you got considering. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Luffy is not. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Lu I'm Luffy not. is a construct, not a creature. Okay. Yep. At this point, he's a thing. Yeah, he's an object he's right now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. So you guys can go ahead and take your long rests. Uh, um. Nothing of note happens during the night. Uh, Callan spotted. A uh, gopher running past, but can I kill the gopher? Go for it. You can kill the gopher, sure. Don't have uh, to do anything for that. Still plenty of charges back. That's roll right. attack. Mm -hmm. Why do I have twelve daggers? I just realized that because, because you have a bunch of throwing daggers to lose and never have again. All right. Throwing dagger it is. <laughs> uh, nine. I don't believe hits. Damn. Oh, well, I tried. Uh, it, it lands, like, at its feet, and it, like, looks at you and then scurries off into the brush. Man, <sighs> that damage would have killed it, though. You're throwing a dagger at it, and it'd just be guts all over oh, yeah. the ground. Oh, yeah. Just yeah, the, the intent of the uh, excessive amount of daggers is we had them in the bag of holding from looting anyway, and that way you don't have to recover those because they're not your good daggers. Yeah, you just throw one I'm still and... I'm going to go and pick it back up. Yeah, you don't have to, but you can. Yeah. Kira's going to pout and do an overly dramatically sigh, and he'll look at Safi and say, Safi, I wrote a note to myself, and it disappeared when I woke up this morning. Yeah, they enchantments like this tend to reset at dawn every day. Ouch, I'm in a coughing fit now. Because that is totally something Curio mm -hmm. would have done. Mm. Yep, he wrote a note to try to remember it the next day and it erased. Yep. Yep. And as such, Kiro now no longer remembers that he's supposed to feed what? the dude. Feed the what? The dude. The dude? To feed the well, dude? That's okay. Slap on to remember that for you. Uh, it's also possible the pixie stick counted as the uh, reward, so either way. Uh, 
if that's something I would do, write a note to myself and then be all confused whenever I woke up and it wasn't there. <laughs> Tell me you wouldn't. That really happened. That really happened? Yes, if that really happened. Oh, yeah. You know, and you didn't know that that's actually how the scrolls worked. Breakfast you wrote a note to yourself. Better. Yeah. <laughs> that's the <Good> breakfast, breakfast. <laughs> roll. <laughs> nice. Natural 20. Yeah. After the, you, you were a little disappointed with the the dinner. So this morning you're like, I, I know there's great recipe. I'm that one that. stopped turning over her suspicion and the riddles. She's actually focused on making the food this time. <laughs> uh, so you, you guys can get an inspiration point for the day. Um, Remy Temi also gets an inspiration point, because I'm assuming he's partaking. Yeah, he does. <laughs> uh, anything else you guys want to do before you take off for the day? Not at the moment. Prepare to leave. I don't know that we have any. Does anyone need to choose specific spells for the day, or y'all good? Nihon finished his level up. I did, yes. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah, I was surprised to see that you didn't get any specific level up thing. It was just the extra spell. Well, extra spell slots are big for the half classes. Yeah. Especially when it's the next level spell slot. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you guys get back on the road um, and start heading out. Um, How's the rain looking? Uh, the the rain is it's still going, but it it's definitely... It definitely seems to be on the decline. Uh, to to you, it seems about the same as yesterday. Okay. With that roll. It looks wet. Yeah. Still looks wet. You're tired of it. You're sick and tired of the wet. Uh, you want to see the sun. <laughs> um, all right. Can someone roll me a d20, please? Uh, do you want to roll it this time, Firedow, since we used Pika's last time? Sure, it's fine. Twelve. Two. Okay. Ain't that the same thing I rolled last time too? Uh, yeah, uh, so rolled... used Pika's ten last time. <laughs> you rolled an eleven before in Pika. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say I think it's eleven. Uh, yeah. So the the travel goes smoothly. Um. Uh, once again, the the day just nothing really of note happens during this day of travel. Um, no monsters are jumping out at you. Uh, I'm guessing everything's like, probably waterlogged. We and have not time to relax. Um, but at, at some point during the day, uh, Remy will say, would anyone like to take a try as another riddle? I've got a good one today. Looks like Curio. Yeah. He's making me do it. Also, Meteor, while we're oh. traveling, can I be looking through my herbalism guide to see if yeah. I can distinguish those mushrooms? Uh, yeah. What would I be rolling for that? Uh, uh, D20. Nature? Yeah, nature. Yeah, nature. Okay. Alright, so uh, because of the wonderful breakfast uh, and the inspiration, uh, you, I will allow you to use that inspiration as an extra guess for this, if you'd like. Okay. So Kira is all bouncy. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely I'm not ready finding for these another... mushrooms today. Nope, not today. All right. So he, he sits back in front of you, crosses the legs, and starts rubbing the hands together once again. Uh, and you, you see the, like, the little sparks of red that you saw before when you did the clap. Uh -huh. um, okay. I have no beginning but two ends to my name. I'm a cord of strength, but I'm not a steel frame. I'm plated and coiled, but I'm not a braid or ha of hair. I can rescue a life or hang a pirate in the air. 
What am I? Are you a rope? You got it in one. Very good. Yay. Nice. Oh, bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. And with that, he claps once again and produces a rope. Woo! Uh, this is a kind of fancy looking rope. Um, and like, like as he's uh, moving his hands apart, like the rope is getting longer and longer until he gets to the end of it. And it, like, it's seeming to come out of nothing. It's, it's like the magic trick. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, and then he hands it to you. This is a rope of entanglement. Ooh. Rope of entanglement. What's mm -hmm. a rope of entanglement? I'm guessing it's a rope that entangles. So uh, you can, if you hold one end of the rope, uh, and speak its command word, the other end of the rope will dart forward to entangle a creature that you can see within 20 feet. Oh, that's uh, handy. So the target must succeed on a DC 15 deck saving throw or become restrained. And you can release it uh, with a bonus action by speaking a second command word. <clears throat> and they can uh, try to use an action to try and break free. Ooh, so I can grapple stuff without uh -huh. having to do the roll myself. That's actually yeah. pretty awesome, specifically for my character, since it's something that I do a lot. You know mm -hmm. who we should test that on? Yeah. Linus. <laughs> we should oh, test that on Linus. Mind. I thought you were going to say me. <laughs> well, to be fair, you did come to mind, but that's... I thought Linus would be funnier. <laughs> he, he starts looking worried at, at that and just kind of like backs up against the edge of the cart. I'm going to poke um, Callum with the stick because I still have the stick. And all the sticks. Mm -hmm. Do you want to carry the have... rope of entanglement on your person, Kyria? Yeah, if I want to be able to it's, use it's it, I'll this. have to have it on me. Okay. It's either the stick um, or dagger. Meteor can either move it from the bag of holding on my character to you, or you can just add it yourself. I just added it myself. All right, I'll move it off of mine then. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So you've gotten paired scrolls and a rope of entanglement. So I like these riddles. So do I. They're my favorite. They still have my head. You know what I love even more than the riddles, though? What's that? Someone like you who enjoys them as well, and can solve them. Oh, Kira will get all red-cheeked. And hide behind his tail. Uh, Agent Sincerity? He seems pretty sincere. Okay. He, he honestly seems very excited at all of this. Like, giving his riddles, uh, hearing your answers to them, Kira is not the most intelligent kitty in the litter, but he knows some very basic stuff, at least. You are definitely a very knowledgeable friend. Um. Kira, why is it the, the trick that gave him the rope was the uh, hanging a person? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one was a pretty big clue to it. Yep. If it didn't have that part, would you have gotten it as quick? As a player? Yeah, I got it near the part where it's two ends it to my name. Bladed and braid. Yeah, the two yeah. ends to my name is uh, oh. where I got it as a player, but I think if Curio or without the hanging a pirate, the rescue, it would have probably taken him a guess or two. Okay. Because the rescue of life would have been the next one that would have led to it. Need a user same. Still trying to figure out how this is a trap. <laughs> mm hmm I mean, we've not ever missed our third I guess. So. And you're, you don't trust me? Jeez. I don't trust anyone right now. 
you know, whenever you've had just badness in your life, it's hard to to be okay with goodness. <laughs> Not to give you my entire life story, but my first encounter with a new person outside of this group, they cursed me and made my mother forget about me. So I'm a little sore. <laughs> You're actually saying this? Yeah. I, I, I was saying that last thing as the DM, not as him. Okay. <laughs> like, if he pushes, I will straight up just say that. I'll be like, I'm a little sore. <laughs> uh, I have a good riddle. There can be conversations like that with him. If you want, like he he will talk to you guys. He he's not just like quiet the whole time. Uh, he'll well, I mean, I'm not whole. I'm not going to volunteer my life story, but if it becomes <laughs> beneficial, then I will mention. Mm -hmm. it, he'll like tell you about his uh, children and his grandchildren. Um, well, and... I'd like to get to know more about him. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd like to know about his family and role playing the intelligence of your character is one of the hardest things to role play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh so yeah, he he tells you all sorts of things about his family. He he seems to love talking about his family just as much as he loves the riddles. Oh. Uh, Does he have a daughter? Uh he has a son. Does he have a granddaughter? Uh, he does have a granddaughter, yes. Okay. Um, Old men, there has to be either a daughter or granddaughter involved. That's an anime trope. We'll find out eventually that he's the grandfather of the girl with true sight. Hey. <laughs> now, wouldn't that be a thing? No, that'd be funny. <laughs> wouldn't um... it, though? <laughs> Meteor does the nervous laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Do we find out anything about the family that he's visiting in Donnelly? That, I want to, his when his he, family is the family that he's visiting in Donnelly. Right. When he mentions the kids, I'm at, I'm trying to recognize if any if names are mentioned, and if so, if they are the kids that we encountered. Yeah, because we definitely helped the kids in Donnelly. Yeah. That I was held with briefly. Um, do we recognize so any of the names? You do not recognize any of the names, no. Okay. So no, none of the, from what you can None get, of the rescued children none of the were rescued over there. Children are his. Yeah, so, so his son is full grown now, has a wife and uh, two kids, a son and a daughter. Um, his son is a teacher and... Uh, his daughter-in-law is a librarian. Hmm. Oh, they met at school. And then the kids are 8 and 12. Is this when he starts pulling out the Safi trick and doing the little illusionary thing to show the you know, Illusionary, the like little palm-sized versions of the what they look like? The uh, wallet-sized yeah. pictures? Yeah, you know, the wallet size pictures to show off his grandchildren. Uh, <laughs> he he probably would have a picture of them on his possession, actually. Yeah. We'll we'll say he, he pulls out a, a small photo out of his pocket. It's like one of the few things he has on him. And uh it, it's like a small portrait of his family. Really high quality portrait painting uh including his own wife uh who has since passed oh mm. no so yeah so if nothing else goes on for the day then chitter chatter and everything else yeah kinka oh. is asking you to look at discord banana i already did okay Needy user says Meteor's taking notes on all of these riddles and, and ideas for how to connect the dots between people. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so that, yep. that's pretty much the your entire day for this one. Uh, just chatting with him. So you guys can idle, idle talk. Keep it on. Mm -hmm. You guys can Settle down for the night again if you'd like. 
um, or if there's something else you want to do during this day. Just let Reason me... to use the inspiration. <laughs> yep, you didn't even need it this time. No. Nope. I'll use the inspiration to find a good place to to go down. It's what a, a D what? Well, it's it's the daily inspiration for a good meal, which I think we had said just gives advantage. Yeah. Okay. Dude. So yeah, so twenty. Twenty. Yeah, you find a pretty good spot again. Uh, Woohoo! You find a nice big tree to go under, so that the ground is slightly less wet. Still how, pretty muddy. But... How far are we from the substandard dinner? <laughs> the um, <laughs> the uh, hideout. From the hideout? Yeah. Uh, you know what? You guys actually would be pretty close to the hideout. Uh, you guys... Uh, I believe we said that the hideout was about a day away. From, you said half a day. And we're about half a, day a day away. Half a day? Half a day. Half a day. Yeah, so... Yeah, you guys are about three quarters of a way... Of a day away from Donald. Yeah, we're not to the hideout yet, but we'll get there tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, you guys are pretty darn close. Are we wanting to stop by there? Is that why people keep asking about it? Well, I just thought it would be a dry place to sleep. Ah. So you, you do could... the I'm not doing anything else in my spell slots. True. So I guess we make dinner. Yep. I I rolled for dinner. It was oh. eh. Oh, the survival was the dinner. Yeah. It's better than yesterday. Yeah, slightly so better. You have, you, did, you, did you use your inspiration? Not bad. Uh, oh, yeah. Technically, I would have a third roll, huh? I'll allow that. Yeah, I, I didn't want to use it for that, matter, just in yeah. case. Yeah, it didn't matter. Right. Didn't matter. Did oh. not matter. 13. Yeah, it's decent. Uh, a, a little thought in the back of your head is... Why are my breakfasts so much better than my dinners? Jeez. To be fair, I'd the rather day. I'd rather the breakfast be better so that we have the inspiration right. at the start of the day. <laughs> Slightly useless overnight. You fall asleep and feel inspiration. Right. So, uh, I don't think any of you really used anything today, so uh, you can take another long rest again. Woo! Just recharging my uh. Your hut. My tiny hut every day. So I'm how's breakfast? Food out of the bag of holding. Anything happen overnight? <laughs> <laughs> Unroll for breakfast. Um, during the night, um, we'll say a deer got caught in the tr one of the traps you guys set. So I assume you're still putting traps. Yes, still putting out the hunting traps. Mm -hmm. So bigger uh, prey than usual. Breakfast spent venison. Woohoo! I see lots of pocket bacon in our future. Um, also, the rain today is uh, getting closer to a sprinkle. Ooh. Uh, it's not quite at a sprinkle yet, but it's it's a very light rain at this point. So I, I cook some of the venison that we've caught instead of digging into the bag of colding for seafood. Okay. For breakfast this morning. Yeah. Uh, 22. Pocket yeah. bacon. Pocket uh, bacon. Yes, and I do make several strips of jerky and bacon. All right. You got it. And yeah, you guys can have another inspiration point. Yay! Hey. With a 22, I mean. <laughs> good food. Good. good food. I wish I would roll a little better. Like, it's a plus five. Mm -hmm. So I've been rolling on the low end for most of the years. 15 and 17 for Ow. this one. Yeah. But yeah, the the dinner ones you rolled, what, a two? And a seven. And eight and yeah. a five. Yeah. It's not, not great. So. It's just the luck of the roll. Yep. I'll uh, store a few pieces of pocket bacon aside that we don't eat, but I assume we eat the rest of it. Uh, yeah, you would end up eating the rest of it unless you're trying to store it. 
We'll say I store five pieces of pocket bacon and we eat everything else. Okay. Um, 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 um. Alright, so I'm you... I'm actively removing pounds of food from the bag of holding as I cook, so. Okay. Um so you finish the breakfast and get back on the road. Um a few hours into the trip, um you guys do end up getting to the area where the hideout was. Would we want to stop and make lunch? I mean, I, I honestly don't want to stop at the hideout if we don't have a reason to. I'd rather just get closer to town, but... Okay, then let's just keep going. Okay. Um, so yeah, the, you've actually gotten to the point um, where you made that turn off to get onto this road. Uh, so left takes you to Donnelly, right takes you... Uh, back the way you originally came to get to Donnelly. Mm-hmm. Uh, the long winding path from Rockport and the Rat Estate. Yep. yep. Uh, so, yeah, you take that left. The hideout's not far past that. Um, and then keep heading on. Uh, someone roll me a d20, please. I'll do it today. Ooh. Natural 20. Uh, you guys actually end up making pretty good time during this day. I will cast sending. The rain letting up helps. Yes. Now that we're a days out, less than a day out, mm -hmm. I will cast sending to Mayor Whitehorse. Okay. And Hopefully. basically be like, Hi, this is Saflin. How are things going? Uh, we're about to be back in town, so I just wanted to give you a heads up. And we found Remy Temi on the road he's coming to. Oh, very, uh, very short message, so, yeah. Oh, well, um, nice to hear from you again. Things are going well at the moment. Um, I'm not sure who this Remy Temi person is, but glad you found him. Um, nice talking to you. Look forward to seeing you again. Either Remy Tummy is not his real name, or he's just not important enough for the mayor to know who the heck he is. <laughs> Reach the receptionist of the town hall. Um, <laughs> uh, shortly after that, um, you get a message yourself okay uh, from the uh the his title his assistant yeah the assistant um what was his name fetus fetus <laughs> i don't think it was fetus Phoebus. there's a b there Phoebus. Phoebus. i Phoebus. yeah that might have been I, it. I, there fetus. was not a T when I said it. <laughs> you misheard I, I heard her. fetus. I you like, I'm pretty it. sure I did not name anyone fetus. No, Phoebus, <laughs> like the soldier uh, from yes. the track of Notre Dame. Right. <clears throat> my my brain goes to Phoebus, the Pokemon. Uh, like, I, I actually remembered that without looking in my notes, but it is Phoebus in the notes. Okay. I don't I'm think I have it written down where I can easily get it at the moment, so... Phoebus works for Mayor Gain Whitehorse. Okay, then yes, <laughs> from Phoebus. Um, okay. Not to be confused with Phoebus and Foothead. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> um, Alright, you get a message from Phoebus, what does he say? So, he, he comes in and says, um, hi, the mayor asked me to message you. Uh, he wanted to know if, since you are coming into town, if you could stop by. He may have a job. That's fine. Um, is there... Well, I know he can't answer back again without sending again. Um, unless there's a reason why I shouldn't, 
I I will appear in the guise that we met in previously. Oh. Letting him know that I'm going to be disguised. Okay. Because I know he can't respond without casting another sending. Right. Um, but he... basically confirm we will go, but I will be disguised. Uh, he will cast another one to you. Oh. Um, uh, and it will say, I don't remember, there's a word limit too. Yeah, it's over with the first 25 words. Um, I think it is. That's why I did a real short message. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, that's fine. Uh, situation in town has improved. Uh, tieflings are walking around just fine currently. Uh, Feel free to stay disguised or not. It's up to you. Unsure if present company will uh, play by ear. See you soon. Okay. Okay. So that that is the last message he casts you. Okay. I'm curious what happened to what's his face. We brought him back. Sure and, yeah. <laughs> We'll figure it out. Uh, okay, so uh, with the nat 20 roll for the day, you actually end up shaving a few hours off your travel time. Um, so you're getting there much sooner than you expected. Um, Soon. Once you start Maybe getting... we found a shortcut. <laughs> uh... Once you start getting a bit closer, uh, Remy's going to uh, speak up and say, Now that we're almost here, what say you to one last riddle? And Curio's already in for this. I don't even need to roll for that curiosity. <laughs> Anyone else want to pitch in? On edge with us this close to the city. All right, so he sits cross -legged. take. Okay. So he sits cross-legged uh, in front of you, starts rubbing his hands once again, that same, like, reddish sparks coming off of his hand, uh, or aura, not sparks. Um, all right. I'm a verdant spot atop a pond, a place where toads and frogs abscond. Though I'm small, I buoy their weight and provide them shelter, safe haven, estate. What am I? Well, I know what it is as a player. So, let's see. As Curio, atop of pond, small weight, shelf, a uh, toad. So he would first guess toadstool. Uh, it is not a toadstool. Two guesses okay. remain. Then, okay. And then, of course, it wasn't Toadstool because it's on water. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing as a player, and I think I'll eventually get there. So, so uh, get to the water. I, I think Callan would be We're curious at this enough at this point uh, that he'd probably chime in, and he, he would probably whisper to you, I think it's a lily pad. Oh, oh, that's a good answer. Lily pad. It is indeed a lily pad. Very good. Good job. I'll pick well, you very on the head. <laughs> and he starts rubbing his hands together faster and then claps. And um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, one second. Uh, yeah, for me, that one was actually pretty easy. So good job, Banana. Okay, so... Used by the fact that we have three uh, three lilies mentioned in this episode now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, in his hand apparates this, like, lily pad-looking thing with, like, vines coming out from underneath of it. 
Um, and uh, it, it's a decent size, like uh, slightly big, a, a bit bigger than like fits in his hand. Uh-huh. Uh And he hands it to you. Uh, this is a bobbing lily pad. Uh, it can turn into a magic vehicle. Uh, so this is a magic vehicle which has a 10-foot diameter leaf that floats on water, uh, has tendrils that propel it across and land, wow, and across the water surface, but not underwater, as well as through the air. Has a walking, flying, and swimming speed, speed of 20 feet, and it can hover. Uh, and it moves according to your directions, uh, can transfer up to 300 pounds without hindrance. And can carry double like three or four of you. So it wouldn't be able to carry all of you at once, but... I'm going to give that to Lily to put in the bag. Oh, wait. Okay. Do you imagine oh. you to the... diameter. Uh, I don't know that we can yeah. fit it. Does it fold up? Um, so, uh, I mean, it, he was able to hold it between his hands, so I'm assuming it yeah. resizes. So, uh, I'm going to say that it resizes. I don't think okay. the actual item does, but I'm going yeah. to say it does. And okay. are you going to stick with it with more in attunement? Uh, it does. It mm. does currently, yeah. Yeah, it does require attunement. Okay. Yeah, we will fold it up, and I will stick that in the bag should we ever need the ability to carry someone over a raging river again. I'm a little alarmed at the fact that we've been given a rare item, a very rare item, and a an item of unknown rarity from this individual <laughs> at this point. Where is he getting all of this from? <laughs> Makes you wonder what we would have lost, huh? Yeah, I'm a little worried. <laughs> I mean, my immediate thought was personal value he's going to take my sending stone or oh, that great value he's going to take the bag of holding and everything in it <laughs> we're good we got that was, that was why Saplin did not participate <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's a nice thing to carry stuff should we ever need to carry mm -hmm. stuff across things mm -hmm. yes so yay well thank you very much thank you it is been a wondrous pleasure pleasure picking your brain with these riddles. Okay. You have been a worthy adversary. Again, Kira's gonna turn all red again and hide behind his tail and do a little <laughs> meek. Thank you. Good teamwork, Father. Uh, uh, carry out. <laughs> he doesn't have a foxtail anymore. I, I turned it back. <laughs> Fox Kirio. Yeah, that's what I was. Foxio. Oh. <laughs> now, Foxio would be the uh, the model. Yeah, ab about the time that uh, you guys finish with that uh, interaction, uh, you guys are pulling up to the city. Hey, we don't have to have our horses kept this time. Nope. Once everyone has yeah. unloaded themselves from the cart. I will return the horses to the bottle. Okay. I wonder if we can have the cart person, the, the stable person, watch us do that and be just in awe. <laughs> Probably be a little sad that he's losing You're out on the taking my job. The, the stable guy, uh, the stable is like right at the beginning. We'll purchase of feed for the horses before we leave. It'll be fine. The mages are taking their job. So, yeah, so you're going in to purchase feed? We'll do that on the way out. Oh, on the way out, okay. You've got to be able to feed the horses. Yeah. So, yeah, you, you see, like, the the guy uh, out front, like, uh, just, like, cleaning up a couple things in the rain out front. Uh, and he, like, notices you and kind of, like, gets a little excited look, like, customers, finally! And then... Your horse is apparated into the bottle, and he's like, "Oh man!" <laughs> and goes about his day. 
Oh, man. <laughs> his livelihood. His darn magic items are taking his germ. All right, and I will uh, take a look at our party and at uh, Remy Tummy. Okay. And be like, well, I think this is where we part ways. I imagine you're eager to get to visit your family, and it seems we actually do have an errand to attend in town. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much for all the help. I was much further off track than I realized. And Saplin will take a flower and giving him time to pull away, tie it around his wrist. Uh, he offers you his wrist as you uh, try to tie it. Oh, Safi. <laughs> Fire, Pleasure. you missed your chance. He should have given him a yeah. riddle that has a flower as a name that way you could have awarded it to him. I, I don't have the mental capacity to come up with it <laughs> on the spot right now. What are you thinking? No. Um, I don't have the mental capacity for that. Um, but no, I will offer that and be like, uh, to an unusual friendship. It was a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. And he'll uh, kiss your hand. Oh. Okay. Also, please be safe on your way back. No, no, no fainting. <laughs> no getting sick. That too. I want to hear a riddle in the future. I think I can agree to that. Uh, all right. So he he starts walking off into town. Uh, uh and at first, you, you guys are still at the start of town, so you, you kind of start walking in the same direction at first. Is slightly awkward, and then you do end up splitting ways at one point. Assume that I've mentioned to the rest of the party at some point that the mayor's requested to see us, but if not, I would say that now. Okay. And be like, uh, so I messaged the mayor on our way here. It's only polite to let him know that we're dropping in. And uh, he had Phoebus get in contact, and they would like to see us. Hmm. I wonder what that's about. Oh, and Except as Curio, they may have a job for us. Phoebus oh, wants to see us. <clears throat> really? <laughs> I'm in riddle mood, okay? And unless Meteor has anything immediately planned, it's probably a good place yeah, to. This stop. is where we're going to go ahead and end it. Yeah. Um, great spot to stop to stop for the night. Um, so to the stream, thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening, and we'll see y'all next week. Pretty sure, yeah. I don't yeah. think we have anything next week, so see you then. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye everybody. Mew. Bye everyone. Bye. Huh.